So maple syrup season is here and we decided to try our hand at some homemade maple syrup. All right, what's going on everybody? We're here at the property today. The weather is about 50 degrees today. That means we are in the maple syrup season. So here in Northeast Ohio, maple season is when the days are above freezing and the nights are below freezing. The freezing and thawing of the weather triggers maple trees to start pushing sap to its buds and this sap is what we're after. The sap contains sugar and when the sap is rendered down by the process of evaporation, we are left with what we know as maple syrup. Well, we're just about ready to go. I grabbed a five gallon bucket that we had laying around. I grabbed three of the three gallon buckets with lids. In here I have a drill, the uh, taps, and I'm gonna bring a little little hatchet if you got any tips while you're watching this video go ahead and post them down in the comments if you've done this before we've never done it this is the first year so high hopes i'm sure we're going to do some things right we're, i'm sure we're going to do some things wrong but if you see them point them out for us um, and we're all in this together so i'm always about learning something new man look at that thing go so awesome the process of tapping is pretty straightforward. We have opted to use a 5 16 drill with a straight 5 16 stainless steel tap. We drill in with a slight upward angle and we go about one inch in. And there it comes. Now it is time to lightly pound the tap into the hole to create a solid fit between the tap and the tree. In our case, our taps have to hold a three gallon bucket. So let's get a bucket hooked onto it and we can move on. All right. So the idea is to take these buckets, these three gallon buckets, and we're gonna put a hole in it so it sits right on this little lip here and just drains right into the bucket itself. Ideally, it'd be nice if we can put a lid on it too as well, just to keep critters out, but we're gonna be draining it anyways, or filtering it. So let's uh, put a hole in this and put it on. I'm gonna be using the same drill bit as I used earlier. Now, if I had to do this part over again, I would just drill the hole the same size as the tap because a bigger hole means, well, you'll see here later in the video. All right, so let's see if this works like we wanted it to. And there we go. We're just gonna, it's gonna use the weight and drain right in the bucket. hoping it holds the weight. Maybe if we put a lid on it, it will hold it more. It tastes just like water, to be honest with you. Watch this be like a an oak tree. <laughs> Tap it in oak. I don't know. We're going to try it, though. All right, so I actually ran out of containers, so I'll keep that in mind. I have about a 100 of them. <laughs> Uh, at the house. I just only brought a few. I didn't think there was this many, but we have one here. We have one there We have one over here on that side of the tree. And we just put one right here. I do have one three gallon bucket left But we're not going to use this one. I'm actually going to keep this one to collect From the other ones and we'll put a lid on it so that way we can get it home when we are Ready to to go home gonna let these go for uh, probably another four hours or so and uh, put us into the evening so hopefully I have enough room to take it home hopefully um, things work out but we'll still back up before we leave but it's pretty cool with a few hours to burn I take some time to sit back relax and take in the natural beauty of the outdoors after all it is the very thing that led me on the course to spending most of my time outside all right, so we're back here at the back. Oh my gosh. I'm assuming that the way I'm hooking up these buckets is putting too much strain on them. One of them fell down. Um, 
but just wanted to share with what the way that these silver maples look and we're just going to check on the progress too i know it's hard to probably see might have to maybe put a string around it and then wrap around the tree too as well just to make sure that the bucket don't come off but uh these silver maples are present this like really smooth bark the i they say that the the younger that the maples are the more smooth the bark is and you'll see that there is roughness to this and it really resembles the poplar tree which was really confusing but if i look up at the top and i start following some of the branches they're opposite which is not the case on the poplar so anyways just wanted to share that um it looks like this was the first tree that i tapped it looks like there's quite a bit in there it looks like one of the buckets fell probably because it was just too much weight um, lessons learned you'll notice that uh, it's really swampy back here it's not too swampy but a lot of the snow melt however it is really wet so let's check this one yeah that tap's just going this one's not really producing much and i have the tools to fix this what I'm, i thought I, what i'm thinking is happening is i you can tell the angle i put it on i think it's a little too too angled for this so what we'll probably do is try to pull that out man that sucks i'm sure there was a lot in that one but we'll pull that out and uh, i think we'll reset it again look at this this is this is that bark that i was talking about where it's just smooth and they got these lines in it. And just scaly though. Never really formed its scales until you get down here. So, all right, well, these don't look to be producing as much. That one over there got quite a bit. And then the ones up front, man, those are really producing. Um, let's pull these plugs out and or pull these taps out we'll plug up the tree that one's actually producing well and i almost don't want to take that one out <laughs> but i think i'm going to because up front they're putting i mean that we just tapped those trees up front and they're already half of what that one is within half an hour so it is what it is we're learning all right so uh what we did is i i decided to we're going to take these taps out I'm just going to tap this lightly and they end up coming out. So we're going to take this stick here and, and chop it off and then pound it in to plug off the hole. Create a little point and get it in there and hammer it on it. And I'm actually going to just leave it like that this is a live twig and i'm going to leave it like that and it'll seal itself off i'm just going to take these taps so we can use them up front we're going to take our buckets and use them up front so we can consolidate after making my way back up to the front i found that a couple of the buckets fell off of the taps and it's probably due to the oversized hole no oh, man we lost two so i'm assuming it's the way we're hooking them up and we're gonna have to fix that Last thing I want is to waste this. It looks like there's still some in here, actually. Oh my god, I, I can almost smell the sweetness. With daylight running out and the sap in the buckets are full, it's time to seal them up and get back home so we can start rendering this down into syrup. This one's a lot. Okay, we got a few more. Man, we probably have a gallon and a half, two gallons. So that is it for these. With how easy it is to collect maple syrup or maple sap for syrup, it kind of makes me wonder why it took so long to actually get into this but the day is coming to an end and uh, 
what's next is we just have to make sure everything's plugged up and property's done and we're gonna head home. After tapping maple trees all day, I can't help but think how society has gotten so far away from the simple things in life. The honest act of tapping trees for sap that will in return reward you with not only a treat, but the satisfaction of self-accomplishment is a good feeling. No, it is a great feeling. Stick around for the next part of making maple syrup. In that video, we're going to filter and boil down sap to make our very first homemade maple syrup.